Hey everyone, Jack Reeve, Talk Norris City here, back for another video. I hope you guys are all doing fantastically well. Back for part two of my which players would I keep or sell today. In the first part of this video, I asked for 500 likes. You hit it in the first two hours. It was simply phenomenal. Thank you so much for all of the support on the recent videos. I'm loving these daily uploads. We're nearly a week in now. Another week to go from my original promise of two weeks worth of daily uploads, I might keep going. I'm loving it so much. I don't usually get sucked into transfer rumours and daily uploading, etc, etc, but I'm loving it. If you guys want to see it, let's hit 300 likes on this video. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so as I mentioned in the first video, I went through the starting 11 against Manchester City. So if there's a few players that are missing in this one that you're like, why have you missed out? Pookie, for example, and you haven't seen the first episode, I suggest you go and watch that at the end of this one. But let's start off with... Um, with the defence. It's worth noting as well, I'm not going to put new signings into um, into this list. I think it would be a bit harsh if Sam McCallum, for example, um, I suddenly wanted to ship out after he hadn't played a, a game for Norwich City. So it's players that had featured for Norwich City during the Premier League campaign. Let's start with Sam Byram then. Definitely think we should keep Sam. Um, I think he's actually, out of all of the signings we made going into the Premier League, he was probably the best. Um, I was slightly doubtful about why we signed him. I know he'd, he'd had injury problems at his previous clubs, but if you look back earlier in his career, he was fantastic. He was very highly rated. And I think he's rejuvenated a bit of that form. He did, again, have injury issues um, last season, but hopefully if we can get, bring in a few more um, defensive players, the, the workload won't be quite as much. I know the championship is incredibly demanding, so hopefully with a bit of time off with a few more players in and around him, Sam will be just fine. And of course, Max might be leaving, Jamal might be leaving. We need Sam Byron. Keep Sam. Next one, Grant Hanley. Massive keep. I think Grant is probably one of our best centre-backs. Um, was our, you know, our, our, well, I think he might still be our record signing under Daniel Farker, um, which is crazy considering. Um, but, you know, he's actually got a lot of pace. For a centre back, I can remember me and Chris. We were at Portman Road when uh, I think he made his debut that day, or he may have played a few under twenty three games before that. But he came on, and we were like, "Whoa, this guy is rapid!" He just made this dart darting run um, across the pitch so quick. Love Grant. He stays. Next up, oh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Tim Close. I love Tim Close. Um, one of a few, well, a few seasons ago, I would probably say my favourite Norwich player. Just love his character. I love what he's about. Um, when we signed him, I thought he was a fantastic defender. And if he would have stayed fit, I think we would have probably stayed up that season under under um, Alex Neil. But it wasn't to be. And I just watched him um, to the tail end of that Premier League campaign. And I thought, I don't know if he's still got it anymore. I, I I just think the injuries he's had and, and certainly the players that we've got now, is he needed? I'm not so sure. If a bid came in, if he wanted to go back home, um, I wouldn't be upset about seeing Tim leave. I would in, a, in, a, you know, in an emotional level, but from a cynical, can he perform week in, week out level, I don't think I'd be too upset. With that being said, if he is in and around the first team next season, I wouldn't be upset either way. I, I don't I don't think he's cut out for it anymore. Uh, feel free to let me know differently in the comment section below. Maybe slightly to harsh his um, his appearances thrown in at the deep end in a, in a very tough Premier League, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about Timmy Close anymore. The next one, um, we can sell him because I completely forgot we even had him. I thought we had sold him. Philip Heiss, um, must admit, can't really recall ever seeing him in a Norwich shirt. I think he's played a couple of times, hasn't he? Sell Philip Heiss. Don't think he's needed. Into the midfield now. Um, a lot of players to get through here and a lot of players that will probably be leaving when I when I look at the list. Mario Vrancic is the first one up. I think we should keep him. I've seen an article this morning that says that there is interest from Germany, but he is, is happy to stay if the club want him. I think it would be a really silly move to let Mario Vrancic go. He's proven in the championship, more than proven in the championship. Criminal, he didn't get more game time in the Premier League. I think Mario Vrancic will once again be a really key component 
in Norwich City's um, squad next season. Moritz Leitner is up next. We talked about him in a transfer video a few days ago. Norwich City have said he's free to leave if he wants and also if clubs come in to bid for him. I think Moritz Leitner is a, a perfectly fine championship footballer. Um, I thought he was very, very good on occasions. He was slightly in and out of games, I think. That's probably his issue and probably the reason why he didn't start as many games this season for Daniel Farker. Um, but with that being said, I, could, I have to say sell because I think the club are willing to sell him and I'm not going to go <laughs> against the club on this one. It's a shame because, you know, that goal against um, Ipswich at Portman Road really propelled our, our promotion, um, you know, campaign. And he's had some good times in an orange shirt, but that doesn't mean to say um, we can't refresh that position. So sell Moritz Leitner, Emi Buendia up next. I mean, we should keep him. We should definitely keep Emi Buendia. Um, one of the most technically gifted players I've ever seen wear a Norwich shirt in my time watching them anyway. Um, slightly disappointing Premier League campaign, despite you know the metrics that you want to, you can look at if you want chances created, tackles, one heart the pitch. At the end of the day, he didn't score enough goals and get enough assists. Um, the assists part isn't necessarily his fault, um, but the goals part of course lies firmly on his shoulders. So slightly disappointing. I think Stuart Hodge said he expected him um, to to come out of that Premier League campaign being a fifty million pound player. I don't think he is that but he's the one player that I look at and think he could probably fit in to the majority of Premier League teams, barring Liverpool, Man City and Man United probably. So um, I'd love to keep Emi. I think it would be a, a waste having him in the Championship because I think his quality is far and above that. But if we are able to keep him, I'd love to. I don't think we will. I think we'll sell him. But of course, I'd love to keep him. Tommy Tribal up next. Another of the players, along with uh, Morris Leitner, that the club have said can go. Of course, there needs to be interest. I think um, he'd probably be keen on a move back to Germany. His his first child is 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 on the on, on its way. Um, I, I really like Tom Tribal. I think if we were to keep him, I think he'd be a really good squad player. Um, we've seen what he's all about. We know what he's all about. He's been at the club for over three years now, and in that time, he's put in some really important performances um with that being said again like um Leitner is replaceable I think um Sorensen is probably a player that's been brought in that's maybe got a slightly more rounded game and can do the job that Tribal did I haven't seen Sorensen play for Norwich yet so I'm not so sure that's me guessing but again replaceable um, would like to keep Tom but I think we're going to sell him so I'm going to say sell Alex Tete we know he's staying he said he's got one season left in the old legs. I'm surprised they haven't gone yet, but he's the man that just keeps on putting in performances. One of the standout performers in the Premier League. I think slightly um, you know, swayed by our poor recruitment at the fact that Alex Tete is still starting Premier League games for us. Um, obviously won't be anymore, but um, got his 100 Premier League appearances. A fantastic servant for Norwich City. Will stay and I think, again, will be an important part of next season's squad, even if it's just to have that kind of experienced head around the dressing room. Because I know the, uh, you know, I know Farker um, puts a lot of value in that with, with Alex Tete. And I think even if he doesn't make many appearances, which I doubt he will, um, I think it's important to have him around. Let's keep Tete. The next one up, a really interesting one, this Louis Thompson. Um, a player who Daniel rates incredibly highly and the times I've watched him play for Norwich, he's looked very good. Um, he's just been so, so unlucky with injuries. As soon as he gets back from a long-term injury, he's out again. Um, you know, I, it was, I think it was a cup game I was at. I'm sure people will remember who's got a better memory than me. And he j literally just come on the pitch from returning from a couple of years out and within minutes was screaming on the floor in ag agony again because he, he'd done something just really unlucky I would love to see it work out for Louis Thompson um, at, at Norwich City but I don't think it will I don't think it will um, I think we should keep him just in the hope that he can get fit um, and there aren't too many players out there like Louis Thompson in terms of a real box-to-box -box, good in the tackle midfielder um, who knows with, with Louis Thompson Next up, Josh Martin. Um, I think out of all of our young players coming through, he's the one that is rated highest by um, the Norwich City managerial staff. I haven't seen too much of him. Um, I watched a bit of him at under 23 and under 18 level. He was consistently scoring goals. How he fits into a championship side, 
I'm not so sure yet. And I'm sure that he will be making appearances maybe in the early stages of League Cups, etc. Um, and with the condensed nature of the Championship next season, there are going to be many times when Daniel will have to rotate and Josh might be part of that. Of course, we should keep him. Really intrigued to see what Josh Martin can do. Good luck to the lad. Final two players then. I know I've missed a few out. If you want me to talk about, I don't know, um, Carlton Morris, for example, then let me know down in the comment section below. But I've, I've just gone through the main players here. Next up, Josip Drimic, Dermic, however you want to say, Big Jojo. Sell him, sell him. I, probably a player, I, I can't remember a player for Norwich in my time of supporting them where I've had less of a care for them. Like, it sounds harsh, but he, it's clear he's not cut out. Um, he doesn't care for Norwich. He hasn't tried to care for Norwich. And the club can see that now and are saying, look, if anyone wants Josip, come and get him because we don't want him anymore. I think the, the worry is, is I don't know who will pay his, his wages. I think he was one of the highest earners um, for Norwich in the Premier League, which is worrying and baffling all at the same time. Um, but yeah, sell, sell, sell. Big sell. Uh, Adam Eder next up. I think this is going to be a big season for Adam Eder. Puki, um, of course, has championship goals in him and, and I'm sure will score goals again next season. But it's a big season for Adam Eder because I can't see us bringing in too many strikers. I mean, we're, we're fairly bare in that position, but I don't think we're going to go out and splash sort of six to eight million pounds on a striker. So there, are, there is going to be opportunity here for Adam. And I know he's got it in him. We saw him score that hat-trick against Preston in the FA Cup. Championship opposition, a fairly decent championship opposition at that. Um, can he do it again in the championship? I really hope so. I really want it to work for Adam. When, whenever we've had Grant Holt on the podcast or on the live streams, he has been the player that Holty's spoken about and saying, look out for Adam Eder. He is a player. So hopefully he can do it. Let's obviously keep Adam Eder and let's see what he can do. That is the buying and selling players, the squad from me. That's my opinion. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comment section below. I loved it, interacting with you on this one in the last episode. And I'm really keen to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.